As you know, 3 at 3 brought to you every business day by MarketRebellion.com. So we're getting it started with that right now. And per usual, just as I'm getting into it, I get a fill. Let's see. All right. Decent fill. Um, can only blame myself because I'm a self-directed trader like many of you. All right. Let's get to this. Market Rebellion 3 at 3 brought to you every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. This is the 9th of December. Our disclaimer is that uh, you should understand that all investments involve risk. That is a fact. And past performance of the security industry sector market financial product trading strategy uh, is not guarantee of future results. This is presented for educational and informational purposes only. Full stop. Intellectual property rights. We have intellectual property in virtually everything you're about to see for the next 10 or 15 minutes. And that means we have registered marks, trademarks, patents, copyright on virtually everything. So please uh, don't make us chase you. If you want to reproduce this, please do so after you have asked us. And then cite marketrebellion.com. Halftime, yep, Pete was on the uh, boardwalk down in, I think it was Tampa St. Pete today. He's been making a, a whirlwind tour of the United States. I think he started Minneapolis to uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, to Tulsa, to Dallas, to Houston, to New Orleans, and now he's in Florida. So as we dive into this, let's take a look at DraftKings. DraftKings we talked about yesterday when it was $46 a share. And I said uh, that I love this stock and I've been in it for quite a while. And I aggressively write calls against my stock holdings. And I participated yesterday when I saw these DC48 calls that are bought for this Friday, the 11th of December expiration. Now, you may recall me saying discipline dictates action. Because I say it all the time. My brother Pete more or less came up with that moniker. And it is true today as when he created it decades ago. Discipline dictates action means that we are disciplined about taking our profits and disciplined about cutting our losses. So you can't eat like a pig and crap like an elephant is what that means. Um, so you have to cut those losses and you have to discipline yourself to pull money off the table when you've got a winner. I'm going to show you how big the winner was here in just a moment because I owned a bunch of these calls, a hundred lot, and they were trading for about a dollar to a dollar ten in that range is where I bought them. I didn't pay a dollar thirty five, nor was I in at the lows at sixty five cents because we post them up and our uh, subscribers get the first crack at them. So by the time they were in, the thing was off to the races yesterday. So I paid more, uh, which is common, but not uh, uh, unfair. Uh, of course, we do sell access to these trades uh, through marketrebellion.com, and so people act on it. That's what they should do if they are comfortable with the risks. So anyway, with all that said, we paid a buck uh, to a buck, whatever, uh, 10 yesterday. That yellow arrow there will show, show you where they are now, uh, where they were, rather. $5.50. Bang! I am out of this trade. I'm still in DraftKings, and I've still got calls written against what I sold. And by the way, take a look on the screen there. Even though they're down 42% now, they are still um, $1.90, not a buck ten, not a buck, and uh, certainly very profitable still for folks who got in to these on the early side. Now, that's something you need to be aware of also that virtually everything we talk about here has already been posted up on the website. So sometimes that means that the bulk of the money has been made. Other times it means that there's still plenty of upside. Now, I love this stock. You just heard me say it. And I continue to own the stock and have written calls against it. But I sold this position. Why? Because I paid a buck for something that went to three and then four and then eventually 550. Did I get 550? No. But I did get $4.25 for the bulk of my trade. So I took um, basically 
a dollar uh, investment, folks, since every options for 100 shares is a hundred dollar investment. So if I buy a hundred options, that's ten thousand dollar investment. Turn a ten thousand dollar investment into forty two thousand dollars. So when you're doing that, um, you need to be disciplined. But if you're just starting out and you're trading one lots or two lots, still need to be disciplined. You need to take the money when it's there. Our rule of thumb is as an option doubles, we take off half. So as you see here, yesterday they closed at $3.30. What do you think I did yesterday? I only had half of my 100 lot coming in today. So half of them yesterday out at $2.75. Half of them, the other half today at $4.25. You get the idea. That way we're disciplining ourselves to take profits off the table um, when those profits appear. And if they go against us, we cut and move on to the next trade. That's the way I trade, folks. By the way, please consider uh, joining our lovely uh, YouTube channel. Um, just getting another fill here. Thank you. Um, this is free. Um, we post Pete's take. We post my 60 second video. We post my three at three onto this site. It's a YouTube site. It is free. There's no credit card. There's nothing other than just you having uh, to say subscribe when you click on it. Then it'll of course say, okay, are you a Google user or whatever? But um, there is no cost. You will be alerted also if you click that little bell you'll be alerted every single time that there is a, a new video that posts from us. So you just need to go to Market Rebellion um, and you will see how you can subscribe. Um, we're up now to 6,700, so thank you. Many of you folks have been subscribing over the last few days. We appreciate that. Let's push it over 10, I mean over uh, 6,000. Let's push to 7,000 for Friday, huh? We'd appreciate it, and I know that you will appreciate it as well. Great content, and it's all free. All right, there's Scott. There's Pete. Um, he had to, I guess, go in on phone for the final trades and his uh, unusual option activity, which he did with Scott Wapner. One of those was Spirit Airlines. So Pete was buying Spirit calls that expire January 15th, which is regular January expiration, and he was buying at the 30 strike. So we followed. I am in these calls. Look at all those. 18,000. That's a heavy trade. I like being in many of these reopening trades, especially when we see institutional volume like that. Now, speaking of institutions, you know why crypto is doing so well? Of course, it's doing well because of Square and PayPal, because I talked about that for years in the case of Square and for the last several months in the case of PayPal. Why? because they have opened up this world to a whole new group. There's a whole bunch of people, of course, that aren't comfortable going out there and opening a, a Bitcoin account. But there's an awful lot of people, in fact, 60, 70 million people in the case of uh, PayPal that are comfortable using Venmo, which is you know a PayPal app, or Cash App, which is a Square app. Both of those feed into Bitcoin. You can buy Bitcoin right there by clicking on the Cash App at Square or Venmo over at PayPal. Isn't that neat? So that's where you need to go, our site on the Apple iTunes site, to download this app, Market Rebellion. Now, Market Rebellion, it's a crypto app right now, but there will be more coming in the future. We're approved. As you see, we've got a great star rating on the platform. Um, we have an awful lot of you that have joined and we appreciate your support. You'll appreciate the charts, the chat rooms, and all the rest that are available right on your cell phone. So do indeed check it out. Uh, it's just iTunes and then go to Market Rebellion. All right, let's get to some fresh meat, shall we? In addition to Spirit Air, second trade today, Planet Fitness. That's P-L-N-T, Planet Fitness. Now, it's a reopening trade, and it's only two weeks into the future. Not even a full two weeks. It's a week and a half, because today is Wednesday, and it is the 9th. These expire on uh, the 18th, next Friday. Not this Friday, the 11th, but next Friday. So, somebody steps in, buys a lot of DCE calls. Um, we love that. We follow along with them. There's the run that it has made. 
over the past, I think, yeah, that's one month chart. So that's a pretty interesting little uh, run. It's gone from basically 67 up to 77. People betting that it goes over 80. You can bet you know why, because as a reopening trade, um, this one could benefit in a big way. So keep an eye on it. It's right up there, uh, not far from resistance at 77.98 right now. Third and final of our three at three, take a look at HYG. That's the high yield, HYG. Um, look at this, 112,000 December, end of the year, the 31st of December. 31st of December, New Year's Eve, 86 puts, with the stock at 86 and a half, 86.70 in that range. So they paid 50 cents for 112,000 of these. Now 112,000 is um, 11 million share equivalent because every option is for 100 shares of stock. So this is a big trade. 11 million times 50 cents, as you guys could figure, is $5.5 million trade. That's a big trade. I want to follow people who put that kind of money across the table. And this one's a bet that the high yield uh, ETF goes down because they're buying puts. I am in this trade. There it is. It's moved down by 20 cents today or about a quarter of 1%. Um, worth watching. Also worth noting that you might want to do a spread in here. These are end of the month end of the year um, puts that they're buying. So not this week, the 11th, not next week, the 18th, not the next week, the 25th or 24th, um, but rather the end of December. That's what they're buying here, folks. So uh, be aware that this is fast time decay. I have bought these puts and I have sold a put one to one against it underneath it because that's what I do. All right. You want to learn more about getting started in spreading, which is what I just described, a one-to-one -one bull call spread or a bear put spread in the case of HYG, go to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. That is marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. You can see all about learning about crypto, learning about stocks, options, and futures right on this site. Uh, you know we love and trade options every day. If you want to start doing it, maybe a good idea to get the education first rather than make some mistakes. And you can do great education at your timetable at marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. Question time. Let's roll. Toll. Time to buy. Good earnings and off 10% since earnings. Thanks, Doc. Well, dubious guy. Um, and that's the handle here. Uh, I do like toll. Um, I think that the sort of thing that I just cited in HYG, though, means that you might have a little time. So you might let this one sift a little lower rather than jumping right in. But I do like toll. I do like Paul T P H M. I do like DR Horton, um, DHI. There's so many of these in the space that I like because I think we're going to be lower for much longer as far as rates. Thank you, dubious guy. Bill of Rights 201, that is Bill of Rights 201, asks TDC, anyone notice the call volume of 17,000 and the put volume of only 50? Teradata Corp. Well, yes, we did. And let me see here. Just going to pull up uh, whether or not it has been enough to trigger our guys on the site because Bill of Rights... I had not put that up in mine, so let me check and give you the best reading I can about TDC. Do, do, do. Log in, all right. Checking now to see exactly if Mike, Mike Yamamoto or Brian McCormick or uh, Bill Johnson or Chris Sikora, any of the team over there at Market Rebellion, Wayne, Wayne Razzi, if any of them has posted up information about TDC. So we're doing this live. So let's take a look. TDC, Teradata, show me TDC. And what I see is that yes, indeed, December 25 calls, mostly bought for 15 cents to 45 cents. Um, January 25 calls, bought for 49 cents to 90 cents. 
So those are the two, Dece 25s and January 25s, that our guys are citing on uh, Market Rebellion right now for unusual option activity. Thank you for asking. UOA. According to Doug Cass, unusual option activity is meaningless. Well, that's why Doug sits alone in his basement, I guess. Um, and uh, we're still on TV. Um, you know, I don't have hate for Doug, but I know he's always pushing out hate on us. I'm sorry, Doug. Um, what can I say? We're more handsome um, and we're more accurate. <laughs> so if unusual option activity didn't work, they wouldn't have us on CNBC, Doug. If unusual option activity didn't work, we wouldn't have tens of thousands of people subscribe to our services, Doug. You know that because you're involved with Jim Cramer with his action alerts. And I don't remember ever ripping you about that. But if unusual option activity is meaningless, how about we do this, Doug? How about you take the other side of some of my trades, huh? Let's do that and see how you do. I don't think you'll like the result. Bang! FireEye. All right. Given the news on FireEye, and I'm pulling up the latest on FireEye right now, F-E-Y-E. Um, I would have expected more volume on the downside this morning, long the January 15 calls. All right. Well, as you guys know, two days ago on the 7th, uh, December 1550 calls were very active, basically 50 cent option. Um, and FireEye had a, a hack. And as it had that hack, they fell rather dramatically. Um, and they're still down. Now, the low on the day was 1345. They're not much off of that. They're at 1365 right now. Do I like your trade being in the long Jan 15 calls? Yes. And I would give it a little time to recover, but I like your trade, Jan 15s. And um, I also like the idea instead, though, of buying the at the money 13 calls that are now just this much in the money. Because I could buy those for a buck 25 right now, Jim Moore, which is STK MKT1. Um, so, Jim, if I bought those at a buck 25 and sold the uh, 15s for uh, 50 cents, I'm putting 75 cents on the table for something that can go to $2. In terms of options, that is $75 trade that can go to $2, uh, $200 rather. So I like that trade, um, and I'm insulating myself a little from time decay, and which is uh, theta, and volatility compression, which is vega. I like that trade, and that's the way I'd play it from here. Thank you, Jim. FLA, Florida. John Najarian saw you broadcast on CNBC about five minutes from my home, Tampa St. Pete. I marked out. I wish I could run out and buy you a drink, pick your brain. Well, you know what, Nick? Uh, that's actually my brother Pete. I'm sure he'd welcome you to come on by if you know where he is. Um, it's at an undisclosed location in Tampa St. Pete. But uh, he was almost going to broadcast from the stadium where he played um, for the Tampa Bay Bucks, but they ran into an issue, so he had to be out there uh, instead in a, with a beautiful backdrop of the uh, bay behind him. So thank you. Um, if he's still there, I'd say, hey, wander by and see if he'll buy you a drink. <laughs> thank you very much, Nick. If you'd like to learn more about unusual option activity, marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA. That is marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA for unusual option activity. Thank you for joining me today, folks. I hope you have a great day. And I hope wherever you are, well, um, that you're surviving both the pandemic and the sell-off today. Thank you for joining. Hope you have a great day. See you tomorrow. By the way, I'll be on the Halftime Report as well as 3 at 3 tomorrow. Bang!